One of the biggest things I noticed whenever I started making myself more attractive is how women started treating me. Honestly, it was a night and day difference. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Whenever a woman perceives you to be handsome or especially more attractive than themselves, they can start to act a bit weird. So today we're gonna discuss how women really act whenever they find you attractive, positive, and a little negative. So stay tuned. Now you guys have seen the videos where I'm reading my dating app messages. I'm reading out how women reply to me or send me cold DMs. And with that being said, one of the biggest things I've noticed is that women just start to lead with validation. Now overall, in the dating space, especially in the red pill dating space, as men, we're taught to not do that. However, as humans, it's our natural reaction to just validate somebody that we're highly physically attracted towards. However, if you notice, women tend to just overall do this less. And once you actually experience this, you will start to realize like, damn, like women have been doing this the whole time. It just takes the right guy. And that right guy, as I said before, somebody they perceive to be handsome, usually in the seven and a half plus range. Now, you don't have to objectively be like seven and a half to eight, it's whatever she perceives you to be. So meaning that you perfectly fit her type, you're the archetype who she has a physical imprint towards. Whatever it may be, something about you just does it for her. And for that reason, she has absolutely no ego and she's willing to make that connection for you in the easiest way possible. Now, this is actually a big part of my dating strategy. I like to call it inbound game, meaning that the leads are coming to you. And for that reason, overall, it just makes dating a lot easier. And for that reason, you don't have to chase. As guys, you know, growing up, we are just taught to chase and chase women. Once again, lead with that validation. But whenever you have it flipped and turned towards you, it's just a night and day difference and it just makes everything so much easier, guys. Now, this is mostly online stuff. Of course, you know, Desert Romeo, this is where a lot of my experience has happened. However, this also happens in person too. The biggest one perhaps is choosing signals. You know, I've made a few videos talking about choosing signals, how to get more of them. And definitely, whenever you make yourself more attractive and a girl finds you to be like a seven and a half or eight plus, she is gonna choose hard. She's gonna stare, she's gonna get her friends to approach you. She's gonna some way figure out how to make that connection with you. And it happens like literally every time you go out to a social environment. So that's what I'm saying. Like if you're a young guy right now, if you're in college, if you're 18, 19, 20, and you're in that environment to where you can get chose a lot and it's very easy for you to meet women on a daily basis, bro, the number one thing you should be doing right now is trying to make yourself more attractive and more handsome because that's what's gonna give you the highest return on investment. Now, recently I was watching my favorite movie of all time, white chicks. And in this one scene, Latrell, the star basketball player, he won the bid to take one of the white chicks out to dinner. And so throughout this dinner scene, something interesting happens. The girl slash guy is in his best way trying to turn off Latrell as much as possible, biting his fingernails, spitting in the wine, ordering copious amounts of food and just eating it in a crazy way. Now Latrell's face is kind of turned off by it, but in the end, guess what? He didn't care. And as I was watching, I was like, yo, this makes perfect sense because whenever a woman or even a man finds somebody highly attractive, they are just overall super forgiving, super forgiving in terms of these icks. You know, we're in this ick economy nowadays. And whenever a woman perceives you to have an ick and she's turned off by it, that means she wasn't highly physically attracted to you. Because trust me, whenever a woman perceives you as a seven and a half, eight plus, they're gonna be super forgiving towards these icks and they're gonna justify every reason to still be attracted towards you. So for that reason, you can truly just be yourself. Now you still wanna have to some degree social skills and the ability to you know, have game and be a bit of a uh, charismatic sort of guy. However, you don't have to follow the strict playbook of trying to say exactly the right things, trying to say exactly the right line, trying to walk exactly in the perfect way, right? because she finds you to be super handsome. So that's one thing that I just overall realized is that just they're super, super forgiving. And also she'll just overall make temporary trade-offs towards your sexual market value. So, you know, she finds you really attractive, but maybe you're not in the right financial space you wanna be right now. Maybe you can't necessarily provide her the experiences that she necessarily wants to. 
she'll be forgiving towards certain things regarding your SMB, at least for a short amount of time. Uh, whereas somebody she wasn't attracted to, you better be providing experiences, you better be tricking a little bit. I don't know, man, just physical attraction overrides everything in my experience. Now, one major thing I did to start making myself more attractive is taking care of my skin. In fact, one major thing that all handsome men have is the fact that they have a skincare routine. And if you don't, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Tej Hanley. You guys know I've been rocking with Tej Hanley since 2018, like literally over five years at this point in time. Now, the reason why I love Tej Hanley and now thousands of other men is because it's uncomplicated, it's affordable, and overall, it just works. Me personally, I love the level two system. It comes with the foundational essentials that you need for any solid skincare routine. So that's gonna be your cleanser. That's gonna be the super serum. We also can't forget about the eye serum, which you're gonna use every morning and night. It also comes with the exfoliation scrub, something that's gonna help brighten your skin and remove those dead skin cells. Now that might sound complicated, but it's actually fairly easy. And if you need a reminder, they'll actually give you this little postcard here They'll tell you exactly what to do every morning and night. Now, because TJ is sponsoring this video, they're gonna offer you guys an amazing deal. Just click the first link down below in the description and you're gonna get your first box for 30% off alongside with a free gift. Plus, as a TJ member, you're gonna get 20% off for life. By the way, both of the gifts that you're choosing from are $20 in value and are a complete game changer. The first is a silicone body scrubber and the second is a nail and face grooming kit. Personally, I prefer the nail and face grooming kit because I use it multiple times throughout the week to enhance my attractiveness even more and make sure that my grooming is on point. So if you want access to this amazing deal, be sure to click the first link down below this video. Now guys, let's talk about some weird things that may happen whenever a girl perceives you as highly attractive. Now there's always a debate of whether or not men and women can be friends. I feel like this is mostly shaped upon our life experience, especially being friends with women. If you're a guy who's really not friends with women a whole lot, then you're probably not going to view platonic relationships as doable or accessible. However, if you're a handsome guy, seven and a half, eight plus objectively, and a woman consistently find you attractive, you'll tend to find out that it's actually very hard to be friends with women. Not because you're necessarily attracted to them, though that may be the case, but more so they're attracted to you. The girls who argue men and women can be friends or the guys who argue men and women can be friends are the ones that are just not physically attracted to one another. However, what happens if you're actually a really handsome guy, an attractive guy? Women have those feelings too. They have those feelings of physical attraction towards their friends. So if you guys are friends, more than likely it's gonna be because of you, because you're not attracted to her or because you just don't wanna take that step with her. However, let a night out happen. Let you reveal your feelings or let you showcase something flirty with your friend. I guarantee you, though she's a woman, she will probably still fold. And that's because she is physically attracted to you. She is just suppressing it for the friendship. I've seen this happen countless of times. In fact, I even dated a girl who had this guy friend. They were friends since like elementary school. But like, honestly, like he was a handsome guy and we we're almost like comparable in terms of like our handsomeness. And we we're like the same archetype and everything. So I almost found it weird that they were friends. like. That looks like somebody you would date, you know? So we ended up dating. They would still hang out here and there. You know, I trusted her at the time, but after we broke up, you know, we were still communicating here and there. And about two years later, after we broke up, she actually told me a story like, yeah, me and so-and-so actually ended up hooking up. After 10 years, allegedly, of being just friends, they eventually hooked up. And in my eyes, I was like, well, it kind of makes sense. Like, I knew you were physically attracted to him the whole entire time. You just kind of suppressed it. And all it took was that one night, that one moment, too many drinks, bam, bada boom, bada bam, something happens, right? And for that reason, I just find it hard to be just friends with a woman whenever you're a handsome guy. Now, at the beginning of this video, we talked about how a lot of women will start to lead with validation and how us guys, it's tough for us to not lead with validation. However, some women are very strategic. They have a little bit of game. And for that reason, they'll actually try to downplay your looks to make you feel average or normal to either keep your ego unchecked or to keep their status or physical attraction levels above yours, right? Now they'll do this in subtle ways. They won't necessarily say, oh, like you're ugly. Like clearly they don't think you're ugly, right? Cause they're with you, but they'll make little sly comments, you know, like, oh, I've been with more handsome guys than you in the past. Oh yeah, I always attract handsome guys. Like basically they're suggesting that your attractiveness or like you being the handsome guy you are, isn't new to them. Kind of like, you know, if, if you're dealing with a, a bad B, 
you know, for the one time, you know, you know, you're not gonna make it seem like this is your first time having a really attractive woman, right? That's a part of your game, you know, make it seem like, yeah, I get I really attract girls all the time. Like I said, that's game for girls too. So I kind of understand it from that perspective and it really doesn't like hurt my feelings or ego. But just know that some women will try to really just downplay your looks. In fact, some women will even get jealous if they're noticing like people checking you out and they're not checking her out. But if you guys are out together and you're getting more of the attention, just know some jealousy is about to happen. Either she's gonna try to one up you on your style, like always try to dress it to impress, which you guys always should be dressing nice. Or like I said, she's just gonna really try to downplay your looks verbally and let it be known like, hey, you ain't all that brother. You know, keep that ego in check. Now, of course, whenever you're an attractive man, one thing's gonna happen. You're gonna get used for sex. Oh my God, it's so bad. You know, a woman used me for sex. You know, we had a great time and now she never spoke to me again or she only just wants to come over during booty call hours. It's so sad. Just kidding, not sad at all. However, on the opposite end, women will definitely make you wait for sex. And now this is a big one. And that's because, because you're so attractive, you know, they just assume like, hey, this guy has multiple women around. This guy can sleep with whoever he wants. Every girl's attracted to this guy. So I'm gonna try to be different. This is once again, a very strategic woman who has a bit of game. I'm gonna make him wait longer than what I'm used to making a guy wait. You know, usually she'll make, she'll sleep with a guy the first, second date, but for you, because she's highly attracted to you, you know, she's gonna make you wait third, fifth date, somewhere around that area, you know, which isn't like a huge deal, but it is kind of off-putting, you know, especially if you know, like she slept with him, you kind of know she's been around a little bit, but you, she's making you wait. And this actually gets worse with the more qualities that you showcase as a handsome man to show that you're a provider. So if you're a handsome guy, if you make money, if you have a nice lifestyle, if you got your own place, if you got a nice car, brother, like <laughs> you about to be waiting to like the six, seven date because now she's putting you within the boyfriend box. You're like, oh, he has great genes, but also he's showing provider qualities. Yeah, that's my future husband right there. I gotta sell purity. I can't showcase that. You know, I really wanna be physical with this guy. I gotta be a bit strategic with it. So if you are handsome, more than likely this has happened to you. And if you're on your way to being handsome, more than likely this will happen to you. So just be prepared for it. Now guys, don't forget to check out Tej Hanley down below, the best men's skincare system on the planet. And now after watching this video, you probably think that handsome guys never get cheated on. Now that couldn't be any further from the truth. In fact, in this video, I'll show you some signs that she will cheat even if you are handsome. So be sure to watch that one next.